Good morning, everybody. We just spent the night in a very expensive hotel, and I just have to say, expensive hotels are kind of nice. The beds were super soft, there were no bed bugs, we've got my own AC, Wi-Fi is super fast, and now we're gonna go check out the free complimentary breakfast. I guess it's not free, because we definitely did pay for it. So it looks like we just sit down. Can I get omelet with ham? Um, so we got an omelet, I think there's ham in there, tomatoes, butter, and bread. Oh, we have honey now. I'm pretty sure that's honey. Good meal. <sighs> Let's go on a walk. This is a really nice town. Look at this. There's a laptop repair store that's using the Internet Explorer logo. Ooh. These stores are always cool. They're gimmicky, but they're cool. You guys might watch my videos and think that electric scooters are basically the same thing as electric bikes. You might want to get one of these yourself. But electric scooters are way more dangerous than electric bikes are. Because the wheels on scooters are so small, there's not a lot of rubber that's actually contacting the road. So if you're going really fast and you hit the brakes, it's really easy for your wheels to lock up and start skidding on the asphalt and you'll go sliding. If you look on Reddit, nine out of 10 of the crashes you see on r slash e-bikes are from people that were on e-scooters, not on e-bikes themselves. Bikes are much safer than scooters. Oh my God, I'm reading the comments for yesterday's video. You guys are fucking pathetic. The reason that I complained about the 20 cent difference in the coffee isn't because I was super greedy and I really wanted that 20 cents. It's because the restaurant that I stayed at before charged me $23 for something that wasn't $23. Like restaurants do that here or they will just upcharge you just because you're American. Like this is not about 20 cents. I don't care about 20 cents. I care about the restaurants here being honest. Jesus Christ. Good morning, I'm checking out. Anybody want to make any bets if my unlocked bike is still in the parking lot? Hey, it's still here. We are headed to the beach, so I'm going to preemptively apply sunscreen. You know, black people definitely have an advantage. To the beach. To the beach. Beach, 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 beach. Look at all of this traffic we get to avoid because bike. I'm not gonna lie, when I picked this town on Google Maps, I thought it would be like some small fishing village. But now it looks like it's a tourist hotspot. I mean, I guess it is a beach town, so you would expect some kind of tourism industry. Yeah, this is not exactly what I was looking forward to. You know what we've never done yet? We have never tried riding on sand. And I've got the big tires, so I think it should be able to do it. Honestly, not a problem at all. I'm looking at the prices of hotels because I'm just curious how much one of these beachside resorts cost. $43, $59, $62, $60. It's surprisingly cheap for like a beachside resort. I see a lot of beds. I'm not sure if we're supposed to pay to use them or if I can just set them up. I'm gonna set one up and see if anybody complains. Like this feels like something you would typically need to pay for. <laughs> oh, do, do I need to pay for this? Yes. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I was assuming. I was assuming this is the kind of thing you gotta pay for. They wanna charge five euros to set under an umbrella. I fucking hate beachside towns. Well, while we're here, let's take a sec to do some more maintenance on the bike. One of the things that I've noticed is that my derailleur isn't quite aligned properly. I am in the highest gear right now. I'm, I'm supposed to be going as fast as I can, but if you look at the chain, you'll see that it's not quite on the highest gear. It's not aligning properly. Yeah, see, those are way less safe than an actual bike. Now, I don't know how to actually adjust my indexing on my derailleur, so we're gonna um, YouTube it. The most common question we get is how do I- Okay, so I think I need to change something called a limit screw. I need to unscrew it a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's this top screw right here that I need to loosen. That actually worked. Now I'm gonna go through each of these gears and make sure that they actually do uh, go to the right gear. First gear good, up it by one. Hmm. Did not work. I'm gonna line up the derailleur with each of the individual gears. I'm just checking all of the gears to make sure it works for all of them. Perfect, we got it. We can add some more grease to the chain while we're here. I feel like I put a lot of stress on the chain while we were trying to climb those mountains. 
I'm not sure if it's worth it to invest in like a brush and just like actually scrape all of the dirt and grime out of this, or if it's moot because I'll just get more dirt and grime inside of it later. Like maybe the existing dirt and grime is helping protect it from future dirt and grime. So I think we're gonna try something. This little tourist bullshit can't go on forever. If we just keep riding along the coast, eventually we will get to a part where it's just like a wild beach and we can camp there, right? We can just stay on the sand and just keep going. If we're gonna be riding on the sand, I'm gonna relieve some of the pressure in the tires just to give them a little bit more surface area to grip onto. I think we'll do 15 PSI and just see how it goes. I can smell the slime as the air leaves these tires. I'm not sure why this part doesn't get clogged by the slime. Like, why am I able to let the air out of this without the slime coming out and clogging it? Damn it, I got distracted and let too much air out. Okay, I think we're good to go. I won't lie, deflating these tires makes riding on this uh, bumpy road so much nicer. I wanted a wild beach. I do see some restaurants across the street. I guess we haven't eaten lunch yet. Um, can you guys by chance sell Lama June? Uh -huh. Oh, Diet Coke, yes. Okay, we're getting goulash. I asked him how much it was and he says that just pay after, just pay after. Oh, big bread, cool. It's hollow inside. And we get to use our bread in the soup. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's very hot, but hmm. Oh God, coming here was a treat. goulash she calls it oh my god I cannot get over how good this is there's like chunks of beef in there I think that's beef okay let's go find out how much this costs okay it costs about eight dollars that's reasonable in America but that's really expensive here and it's just because we're in a tourist area with lots of hotels and stuff look at that we're starting to get into some more wild beach type territories now that we're leaving the city Look at that, I see a tent. As far as I'm concerned, that means we can camp here. I'm not sure exactly where I want to camp though. You know what, this spot is good enough for me. We will camp right here. One downside of camping on the beach like this is that now sand is going to be everywhere for the rest of my life. Once you put your stuff down on the beach, sand is there forever. I will say one cool thing about putting up a tent on the beach is the stakes, they go right into the ground. You don't need to like tap them with a rock. You can just push them in with your hand. While you're also on the beach, you need to be careful about the sand because the sand is hard enough to scratch all of your devices, your screens, your lenses, everything. Okay, we got the tent set up. Now I'm gonna go set the solar panels up. I'm not sure if the sun's gonna come back out, but if it does, I wanna collect all of it. Maybe we'll get some power from it. Maybe we won't, but if the sun does come out, we'll be able to capture all of it. You know what would be really great right now? A nice camping chair or maybe an inflatable bed. I'm gonna spend a sack doing tent cleanup. Wait a minute, I have a tool that will make cleaning much easier. And here, here we are. I was right, the sun did come back out and I'm glad we put the solar panel up. And the last thing we gotta do to set up the tent is set the fan up. Perfect. I think later tonight, we're gonna go try taking a bath in the ocean. Wait a minute, I just realized we don't want to wait until tonight to take the bath because then it'll be cold and our stuff won't dry. Uh, we should go take a bath now. I actually do keep soap right here. I don't have a towel, so we're just gonna have to use the sun to dry off. Oh my God, I'm terrified. Oh, hey, it's not that cold. Oh my God, it's so salty. <laughs> Again, I don't have a towel, so I'm just gonna use my old shirt. Oh. Then I'm just gonna drape my wet clothes over the tent to let them dry. Yeah, honestly, I'm glad I did this while the sun is still out. Now everything can dry off. I believe we still have some drinks in the back of my bike. Yes, we have two container, we have two liters of Diet Coke and we have a can right here. I will open the can right now. I had forgotten until just recently why I don't like the beach. Sand gets everywhere. Inside your clothes, outside your clothes, everywhere. Oh, 
Okay, so there's some other guys. They're uh, cycling from Greece up to London. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going from the top of Europe down. The bottom of Greece right now. They're gonna get their tents. They're gonna set up next to us. It's crazy talking to them about like other people that understand this stuff. Like the, the Airbnb that you get every like third day so you can like take a shower, go to the restroom. They totally understand that. It's fantastic. They just invited me to come eat with them. Fuck it, let's go. I'm gonna leave a bunch of my stuff here. I don't wanna properly put it away yet because it'll take some time. So we're just gonna throw it in the tent. I'm honestly not sure where they want to go eat at. Okay, do you guys want to see what other bike packers are bringing? You guys have seen my shit. Stand up. Okay, you want to give us a tour? Yeah, so we got we got some clothes up front in this bag. Um, yes, I've got some waterproof stuff in there, so just the jacket. Got some candy, it. good. Important. Yeah. See, this is... I had one of the inflatable ones, ones that blow up, but it got stolen by a kid in fucking Serbia. I think this is a good idea. These are pretty small. Oh, you guys, you guys have so many water bottles. Oh, and you got your, you got your sleeping bag. Is what is this? Is this yeah, your tent? Yeah, this is like tent and sleeping bag. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is so sleek. This is sleek. <laughs> I don't know how you live off of this. This is nothing. Yeah, sleeping bag and tent. That's like. Oh uh, uh, no, so that's sleep. Yeah, sleeping bags and a sleeping mat, mechanical stuff, travel mug, and in here it's just like two t-shirts one towel three socks three underwear you even got the special shoes for that yeah you are you're a professional you got this <laughs> we're just gonna follow them damn it i was in such a rush i left my wallet back in the tent to the tent what a silly mistake to make with new friends now they're sitting there eating and i gotta go get my fucking wallet here we go i'm taking them to the same place that we had lunch the place with the gumbo soup let's try this again These people were in Greece during the floods. It's good. <laughs> okay, we're heading back. God, listening to their stories, fantastic. They have done so many interesting things. And look at that. I don't think anybody stole shit from my tent. Google says it is not going to rain, so we will just put this guy right there. They're going to be setting up camp around here. Apparently he snores, so he's sleeping over there. Oh my God, guess what I get to use? Ha ha ha! Oh shit. Your tent is so cute and small. It's like a definitely a one- Do you guys have the same tent? Yeah, we got the same oh, ones. Oh, cool. It's pretty, uh, pretty cheap. It's, it's quite cozy. It's so cool that I get to use that again. They are taking a swim. There's literally a horse walking into our campsite. I know that horses kick really hard, but do you wanna go say hi? Okay, we'll leave it alone. So I thought that was gonna be the end of the vlog, but I'm editing the video now and holy mother of God, the mosquitoes are fucking. There must be like a pond or something around here because there's like, you can hear them and there's a cloud and it's just, tomorrow's gonna suck when we're tearing down the tent.